Hey guys, welcome to the Whiskey Fam. So, let's talk about Overhit. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So, we don't know Jack. And that's where we're at. Now, that being said, there are some things we can glean from the Japan server, the Korea server, and I'm just trying to figure it out with you guys. You know, the first thing I'm going to say is, I don't edit. I'm going to do this raw. Keep it real simple. You know, I'm, I'm about the game. I'm not really about editing. So... That's one. Two, I'm not going to stand up here on a soapbox and pretend like I know everything. Listen, man, I'm with all of y'all. We're all just trying to figure this out and kind of like get to the right point where we're all just OP. So that's the goal. That being said, let's get right into it. So Overhit is a game that's strategy based. So right now, let's figure out how do we start and how do we make it work so that we're on the right foot from day one. And day one is technically tonight. Why? Because the APK lands tonight. I have a link and that you can also download from. I hope that you also join the community. We've got 100 people in the Discord channel. There's a strong Reddit community that's also growing. Um, that's where, where I'm kind of chilling at. And that's where I'm going to be sitting, talking to everybody, trying to figure out theory crafted, you know, my guys and figure the situation out to hopefully make it so that we're all stronger now getting into it if we're going to be getting into a gotcha game which this is a gotcha game right the most important thing is what are the gotchas so the important thing about understanding this is i am only going to assume that if they're limiting me to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen gotchas on day one, showing me on the pre-registration, I'm only gonna assume that I got thirteen options. So if I got thirteen options, what are the ones I care about? And the ones that I care about, I'm gonna go over. Um, there's a very specific reason why. So the first thing you want to understand is I think the three best gotchas you're gonna look for are Gleck, Luna, and Helena. And why? The reason why is because they start with a strong buff towards their leadership passive. So that means that if you are using Helena, Gleck, or Luna, you get an element bonus. So Gleck is dark, Luna is water, and Helena is light. So if you use Helena, you're going to get a buff for being light. Using Gleck, you're going to get a buff for using Dark. And this is a strategy game. So if you're hearing elements and you're hearing all this other stuff, that means shit. I'm going to be grinding. Why? Because that probably means I'm going to have to have at some point late game a light team, a fire team, a water team, a kill me now team. You know what I mean? Like Jesus. There's so many. But you want to start off right. I got good news and I got bad news. Good news is you can still pre-register. If you pre-register, you get Sophia. That's an SSR. That's a super rare. So that's one down. Awesome. So Sophia is right here. She's a healer. I hear she's really great. She probably lasts you till the end. Awesome. So we got one out of 13 already right in our pocket. Uh, we are looking for the next three. So if you're going to be re-rolling, which is what we do in the gotcha systems, is go. Reroll. Uh, if you want to reroll, get a Luna, get a Gleck, get a Helena. And you're probably going to get the rest of all three. Why? Because when you are starting off, you have to roll. And hopefully you get the right roll. If you do, then you get the next two free. On the first day, you get a selector ticket. So the difference between a selector ticket and anything else is that there's no risk. In gotchas, it's all random. But if you get a selector ticket, we all know how much that matters. So if you roll a Helena, select a Luna, select a Gleck. Now, the nice thing is you get one on your first day and your seventh day. How do you get that selector ticket? It's a login bonus. Boom. Done. So as long as you get one of the three on your rolls, you're guaranteed the next two. So what that means is in your first week, you are going to get a healer. A second healer, a mage, and a warrior. Or, sorry, a tanky warrior. So that's what they are. Sophia is a healer. Helena's a healer. She's light based. Luna, water, mage, Gleck, dark, tank. So 
Me personally, I'm hoping to get any of the three to start. I'm probably going to get the tank or the DPS, and I already have the healer. So those are my four starting units on week one. Now, that being said, we know that there are other things that we want to keep in mind. What about Colette? Colette's probably nice too, right? Well, here it is. You're in a situation where you got to know what's coming. So you can get Colette free. How? As a drop reward. So on 2 dash hard, you can get Colette. It's a shitty, shitty percentage at 1%, but it's there. So you can get Colette free. So if you're rolling and you get Colette, you probably don't want to keep that roll. Um, I know, keep in mind that oftentimes in these grindy gacha games, you probably want dupes to kind of rank them up and all these other things. But at this point, I'm more of the opinion that I want to go wide than deep. So I'm not looking for Colette. I'm not looking for Blossom because I'm getting them for free at 2-10, 10-10, and 17-10 for these three super rares. So that's my suggestion. Do not roll for them because you don't have to. Keep in mind, they're all only 1%, so you're going to have to grind. It's a gacha game, so the grind is part of life. So that is number one. So keeping that in mind, now you know that's true. Also, Malpin is right here. So Jasper, Riaz, Alex, these are not units that you're going to be able to get immediately early in the game. Malpian, he's here. He can be gotten in the game through just drops, as you can see here. Last thing I'm going to go over is probably Ash. Ash is supposedly a tank, but he dies too fast. So he is the main character of the story, from my understanding. And he's supposed to be a tank, but he's really DPS. So just treat him like so. He's not really tanky enough to do that role. Uh, he's not a Gleck. So that's one. Two. Awesome. So now we know the reroll. We know the system. We know the risk. We know the benefits. We know what we're shooting for. Now, once you're in and you got that reroll set, the next thing you want to know is how do I progress? Like, I don't want to be aimless and kind of just click here, click there, and then find out like two weeks from now from some other YouTuber or someone on Reddit or in a Discord channel that I completely screwed up. That's going to ruin my day. It's going to be a bad, bad, sad day. So, I'm going to tell you what I think. You get a beginner buff. It's like, you know, Christian Snoops. When you first start, you get double the EXP, double the gold, double the drops, and double the hero drops. And that matters. Why? Because now I already told you that you're only getting a 1% chance of getting one of those super rare drops. Blossom, Colette, things like that. Now, if I'm getting double the drops, then I'm assuming that I'm probably either getting double the units or double the chance of getting them. So either way, before I hit level 10, I get a double everything just as a buff. So I want to get to 2-10 to get Colette as soon as possible and just grind that level until I get her. And once I do, I'm a happy boy. So that is what you should keep out for. Now, I've already gone over this day one and day seven selector tickets. I've gone over Colette. I've gone over uh, the other one, which is Blossom. So Blossom is a support unit. Support units, as you know, and I'm sure you've all played gotchas before, n unassuming, right? Because supports are not tanking anything. They're not killing anything. So what that means is they don't matter initially. But that's a mistake. Keep in mind that supports often are going to be the back-breaking uh, deciding factor, right? They're the ones who you don't realize at first until later in the game how important they are. So if you have a support, I'm always of the opinion, yo, get them in your pocket. Make sure you got it because I will probably regret not having them later on some point because there will be some stage that I have to grind and someone's going to tell me some cheese strat that I should have had a blossom for and I chose not to do it because I was stupid and now I need to go get it so there it is it's a support unit that increases the incoming damage and also decreases their damage to you so very useful I'm sure at some point just get it don't screw yourself over take care of it 
The last unit I'm going to go over is not on any of these lists. And the reason why I'm mentioning it is because it is an important unit. It's called Lucifer. Lucifer is a collaboration that came out in Japan. The problem with collab, though, is that collabs are IP and they don't cross over global. So many games that I've played, they had collabs with, let's say, One Piece, Dragon Ball, or whatever it may be. You know, pick your poison. The problem is, yeah, it's great Japan, but the moment it comes global, it's not there. They can't get that IP over here. It's just not how it works because they have contracts with other people overseas. So Lucifer is considered the number one OP unit in the game, but it is also a collab unit. So what do you do? It is so OP that there is an entire cheese strat with Gleck just for Lucifer, where you use this tank and this stacking speed ups with Lucifer so that Lucifer can just go as fast as possible and kill everything. That's how good she is. So keep in mind when you're selecting Gleck, if there's a possibility, no matter how small, maybe we do get lucky and get Lucifer. Maybe we don't. It works with Gleck. Um, but I just want to let you know that it is most likely Japan only. And again, I'm only guessing. You're guessing. We don't know what the hell is happening. Right. And the next thing I'm going to go over, which is the last thing, is the combat system. The combat system is we get to select five units. One leader unit so that we can select Gleck and get his buff for his dark units, water units for Luna, and you know light units for Helena. So keeping that in mind, what is the general unit composition when you're playing? Just and I'm sure you're going to figure that out within the first 10 seconds. Usually speaking, you're going to probably have one tank, you know, two warriors are doing DPS, and two uh, range units are doing DPS. So two in the back somewhere, three in the front, something like that. So that's probably going to be your standard go-to. And it's important because you got to understand that this is a lane-based game. So there's a front, middle, and back. And there's also elements. So you got to keep all that in mind as you're going through the stages. You're going to have to always try to hedge your bets you know, take care of all of the different elements as best as you can because you're going to hit some wall that's because you just don't have fire units, water units, light units, dark units, something. And it's going to piss you off to no end. So keep that in mind as you're playing. Keep in mind it's a strategy game and it's going to be a grind, my bro. So that's pretty much where we're at. And the last thing I want to just say is, you know, Overhit, I feel like it's got so much potential. It's right there, right? It's got the right art. It's got the right look. It's got the right styling. It's got a great system for combat. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the elements, to be honest. I typically like mechanics better. For example, oh, maybe it skips a lane. Maybe it does um, extra damage if certain things happen, certain orders go on. Uh, but they use elements, which is fine. It's still strategy, still very viable. Um, looking forward to it either way. But... There's so many elements that gives it potential. And I have so much hope for this game right now. And I have no idea where I'm going to end up or you're going to end up in about five days or a week when we finally start playing this game. But join the Discord. Join the community. Let's, you know, let's chill. BS, shoot the breeze. Kind of figure it out. And hopefully, you know, we can get OP together and have some fun. That's it. Enjoy. See you later.